Hi and a very good day everyone. This is Abdurrahman Al Hamid. Welcome back again to another great tutorial. Today we will learn how to build this interactive robot with Rekabit. So without further ado, let's get started. In this project, we will use Rekabit with Microbit V2 two servo motor attached to an ice cream sticks, two DC motor and the wheels, potentiometer, breadboard, four LED and resistors, three groove to female cable, six male to male wires, and a battery holder. And as for the tools, we will use cardboard, hot glue gun, scissor, cable ties, and a caster wheel. Before we start, remember to not touch the glue gun nozzle and avoid contact with the skin. Also, make sure to use the scissor carefully while cutting the objects. We will start by cutting the cardboard into the following dimensions. Also, you can print the robot template using the link in the description below. Now, we will attach the cardboard parts together this way. As for this part, make sure to leave some space over here for the ease of the components connection. Let me show you how the connection will go between Rekabit and the other components before the things get messy and complicated. The first groove port will be connected to the potentiometer this way. Then we will connect the LED and the resistors to the breadboard this way. The long leg will be attached to the output pin and the short leg will be attached to the resistors and the resistors will be attached to the ground and then connect the male wires to the female that attach to the groove port the servo motors will be attached to their ports and the DC motors will be attached to these two terminals great now let's attach the components to the cardboard and make the same circuit connection again Potentiometer will be placed on the middle, the breadboard will be placed at the top of this part, and the LED is going to show up on the other side this way. Then we will insert the servo motors over here, DC motors will be attached on the bottom sides, brake bit will be attached this way using cable ties. And lastly, insert the caster wheel to a piece of a cardboard and place it over here. Now, make the connection the same way I showed you before. Well done! Now, we are left with the last step. Take out the micro bit and let's program it. So guys, before we start, make sure you are using micro bit V2 because it has the sound sensor and the touch sensor that we're gonna need in this project okay in this project we will try something different we will learn how to use the functions to make our code look nicer and easier to follow so first of all we will go here and click on functions and make the first function we are gonna use today we will call it happy On happy function, we will do the following. We will start by play a happy sound by clicking here. Take this one and choose happy. And then we want to make the eyebrow of the robot to go up to show a happy expression. To make this one, we will choose extensions and search for Rekabit. Click on this one. You will notice Rekabit is added over here. So we will click on it. We will choose the servo motor. The first servo motor will be set at 120. And the second one, we will choose the second servo motor. And we will set this one to 60 degree. This way, the eyebrows that attach to the servo motor will go up to show a happy expression and then we want to turn on the green led 
So we will click on pens and we will drag four of these. Notice here the green LED is connected to pen 16 and the second green LED is connected to pen 12. Okay, and the red LED is connected to pen 15 and pen 2. If the robot is happy, we want to turn on the green LED by switching this value to number 1. So now the green LED will be turned on and the red LED will be turned off. Great, now we finish with the happy function. We will do the same for the sad function. Once the robot is set, we will duplicate all this function and I will call it set. We will play a set sound and to make the eyebrow go down, the first servo motor will be set at 80 and the second one will be set at 100. This way the eyebrow will go down and we want to switch off the green LED and switch on the red LED. Let's make another function to make the robot sleep. We will duplicate this function. Well done. Now let's make the robot react to our sound sensor, light sensor and the temperature sensor. How to do this? Again, we will make a new function and call it sound react. So if the sound is high, the first thing we want to do is to plot a graph of the sound level. So we will click or drag this one here and plot bar graph of the sound level. So we'll click on input and drag sound level and it's going to be up to the maximum value 255. This way the sound level will be shown on the micro bit screen and then we want the robot to move forward. So we click here, run all the motors to the forward direction at 90 speed. Next. We want to turn on the green RGB pixels and we want that to be happen for one second. And then we want to stop the DC motor and lastly we will clear the screen. This is what will happen if the sound is high. Now let's make another function for the light sensor. So we will duplicate this one and call it, okay. We will plot a graph of the light level and we want the DC motor to move backward and we want the speed to be related to the light level. The stronger light we have, the faster the robot will go backward. So we will duplicate this one This way, the speed of the DC motor will be related to the light level and we want to change this color to red and the delay will be for half second and then the rest will be the same. Okay, now let's make another function to react to the high temperature. So if the temperature is high, we want to call the sad function we made before. Also. We want to show a sad expression face by drawing this sad expression. Also, we want to show the value of the temperature. So, we will show a number of the temperature. Great, we almost there. The function is ready. Now, let's code the buttons. We will drag a button. And if we click a button, we want to play a music. So we will start this melody. 
And once we click on B button, we want to change the RGB pixels color. We want to choose the color randomly. Now, let's work with the touch sensor. We'll click input on logo. Once we touch the logo, we will call the happy function that we made before. And we will show a happy face. And once the logo is pressed for a long time, we will call the sad function. And we will show a sad face. And if we make the robot lie down, we want the robot to go on a sleep mode. How to make this? We'll drag this block. And once the screen is up, we will call the sleep function. And we will stop all the sounds. Very well. Now with the last step, we'll click on basic. The first thing we will do here is controlling the sound volume of the music. So click here, set volume at the potentiometer. So we will click on pens, analog read pen. And the potentiometer we already connected to pen number one. This way we will control the sound volume. And now let's call the sensor functions we made before. Okay, if the light level is higher than 70, we will call the light function. And if the sound level is higher than 100, we will call the sound function. And if the temperature is higher than 35, or you can set whatever number you want, we will call the high temperature function. This way, our code is ready to be built up on the micro bit. Now take the micro bit and attach it back to the Rekka bit and have some fun with your interactive robot. Thank you so much guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Don't forget to like and subscribe and we will meet you soon in more fun projects.